Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here, and boy am I excited. I have for you the new challenge mode for the long dark. It's called Nomad. It's rated 3 out of 5 difficulty. The other new one, Whiteout, is 4 out of 5. The Hunted Part 1 definitely is 5 out of 5. And Hopeless Rescue is 4 out of 5. So technically this should be the easiest one yet. Um, also keep an eye out for my Long Dark Challenge Mode Whiteout series. I will be wrapping up The Hunted successfully soon, as well as Hopeless Rescue, just in time for new episodes of Whiteout and Nomad, which will be coming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, the world has changed. The only way to survive is to keep moving. Survive for three days each in 15 specific locations across the game world. Try the lucky lady. There. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know if it's going to move us or we're going to have a certain period of time to get out of a zone. We're going to have to see. I have no idea where we're starting. Okay. It's been three days at each. Got to spend three days in the camp office. Okay. Seems reasonable. Let's actually see if... So, we've got to go dam to Pleasant Valley to... Coastal Highway to um, Yikes, Timberwolf Mountain. A lot of moving around at the end. Huh. It should be interesting, should be challenging. We gotta keep moving. Vaguely like uh, Hopeless Rescue. So a lot of things have been added to the game in this patch. Um, including new books that you can learn skills from. Feats that you unlock. Improvements to the uh, sort of skill up system. Looks like all these are standard books so far. I don't know if the new books are in this mode. Or not. see how tough this challenge is. As long as I know where I'm heading beforehand, it should not be too bad. The whiteout challenge, I have no idea how that's going to play out. But, um, definitely be doing a complete series on that. As well as continuing the uh, Stalker series. And in the Stalker series, that's where I'll discuss most of the other changes that came in this patch. Sort of the gameplay and stuff like that. You can see there's different fonts. The screen displays are a little bit different. So yeah, I guess it's just... Loot and leave. Will have matches? Nope. Don't want that. All right. Yeah, we already swung through the book room. We did not go into the kitchen yet. Ah, uh, no lantern. Bummer. So wait, this is like the farmhouse. Do I have to do these in any any particular order? 
Hold on. So this is not the barn. Huh, interesting. There's no time limit. So we can tackle these any way we want. So we want to, I guess, loot up here and then spend three days in the barn. That's where we are. We're in Pleasant Valley. I thought, I thought we were in, um... Mystery Lake for some crazy reason. It's like the camp office got really big. Uh, I gotta start learning to use that take all. Okay, uh, there we go. Always nice to have some herbal tea. Rainbow trout. See, I thought the game was gonna like force us. Like we hit, it started us in position one, and then we had to spend the next amount of days in all those additional spots. But apparently, that is not how this works. It's just more of like a checklist, I think. So yeah, we really don't need to spend a whole lot of time in this joint. We need to get over to that barn. And hope for good weather. That seems to be just about it in there. All right, first floor is done. Still have not found a lantern. Or did I? I did not. Perhaps not the most efficient use of galleries, but oh well. Got it. Nope. Get in. <coughs> Take them all. All right, over to here. No plastic container there. There's a plastic container. Okay. Right now we're just taking everything. We don't have to worry about carry weight too much at this point. I'll take it. Oh yeah. The peacoat. 
The peacoat, the peacoat. Alright, Jay. I always prefer cloth to scrap metal. Let's not forget the drawers behind us. That is it for this house. We are done. So we will take a moment and check the equipment. Looks like we got some decent stuff. We just need to fix it up. not going to take the time to do that right this second. See how this place is done. Rather not get involved in any wolf type situations, but would like to move on to the barn. Could be worth it to check this out. Seems like a nice clear day. Right, I like that chunk and all the Oh yeah. We got a basement here. Also got the porch. Oh heck yeah. All good stuff. All good stuff. Do you think we're heading north the correct direction? There are. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Wolves in this area. Oh, the wolves. So let's get that out just in case. Don't really need a wolf and canner right now. Good. Deer means no wolves. In the immediate area. Let's try to scare him over ahead of us. Clear out any wolves. Good stuff. Temp is pretty good. Then once we do our three days here, I think like Skeeter's Ridge. Some of the buildings along the road. I think we're on the list too. 
I'll try to be efficient with this and knock it out. Moving along at a good pace. Fast walking. We're getting more tired by the minute though. Sun's coming out. Or sun's coming out. Stars are coming out. Hope it's not a wolf ahead on the right. Where, oh, where is my lovely barn? Okay, yeah, uh, that's not a wolf. That's the remnants of the burnt out house. There's a wolf, though. I got enough energy to jog this one out. Gonna be going to bed soon, so why not? Can be something in here. Usually, like a candy or soda. Yep. All right. We made it. So I could change a little in here. So this is gonna be the barn. We can do the radio control hut and Skeeter's Ridge and the rural store. All in this zone. I think we're going to have to use that one flare. Alright, third time. No corpse there this time. A lot of scrap metal. Nothing in the visors. Make sure we get everything down here. Stay here for three days. Seems like that's it for this floor. Hopefully we found something good upstairs. Like a lantern. We know we got a pry bar, so that's good. That'll be useful. Bandages are good. Hmm. 
might be cool if in this mode it was somehow timed or uh, if not that make resources a lot more scarce We can do the fire thing. And cook up that fish. What I found. So the wood matches. None of that matters. Oops, probably would have been better with the flare. Don't! That is taking forever. Use the one fur. Cook of the rainbow trout. Mm -hmm. Some coffee. Five cups of coffee. Coming right up. Okay, let's go back here. Add a little more wood. Gonna go to... Yeah. Point eight. It's gonna take all the time. Don't run out, don't run out, don't run out, don't run out, don't run out. Oof. Five now. Make some tea. Yeah, two teas, a little bit more water. It's actually, uh, huh, don't have a can't open it yet, it's kind of a bummer. Okay. Should keep us nice and warm. then take a couple minutes fix up some more stuff cool now I don't think it's gonna let us repair anything else I can't repair while in the dark 
nope. I'm not going to start the fire again. That is all we have as far as light goes. It is super dark also. Alright. Hopefully we're not woken up by freezing. Okay. That was just right. Question mark, hours of day left. See if we can repair. Apparently, we can. Twelve hours of daylight left. Let's repair that up. So it's super good. Excellent. See, this is step one. Mitts. Mitts looking good. Pair them jeans. Okay. Not really much we can go poking around outside near here. Not much of a reason to do that. I think we do have enough food to to make it for a bit. Yeah, we do. No reason. I mean, I guess we're gonna get cabin fever if we stay inside all day. Um, so let's just repair it a little bit more. Stuff's looking good. Everything except our shoes, really. Okay, thermals are decent. Socks. Socks could use some help. Wow. Yeah, we are going to need to go outside for a bit. I'm pretty sure. Alright, we'll eat and drink. Go run out around outside a little bit. Alright, let's go stretch your legs. Okay. Let's 
0.8 in the barn. Yes. Okay, I see a wolf over there. Anything over here we can... Oh my gosh. Between a wolf and a bear. Hey, buddy. Anything... Nope, I was hoping for like a basement or something. Really just for getting wood, bulk wood. Worth it. Okay, good. I think that's going to my inventory now. No reason not to, I suppose. likes to hang out over there. Alrighty. Still four more hours. <laughs> Anywhere else to explore over here? Got all those arrows. That's good. Looks like I'm pretty tired. See the wolf over there. Need a hatchet. Yeah, I could use a hatchet, all right. Mm. Well, that was about all we could do, I would say. Let's um, continue to repair our outfits. What needs work? Need cloth.
do want to position myself for fire starting if I can. If I can, doesn't need it. So, do you think we want to have a little to eat and drink? So that we can work interrupted, uninterrupted. All right, we want to repair these boots. Let's do it. Cool. Yep, let's harvest it. I think we probably just need a sip. Okay. Let's continue to repair those boots. You can't repair whilst in the dark. I say we go a little fire, a little fire time. Come on, little fire. Come on. Why didn't that work? Well, you know what? We're not going to worry about that right now. Ain't nobody got time for that. Woke up fully rested. Huh. Well, you can't see very well. But this is where we at. We have spent 1.4 days inside the barn. That's going to be a good place for us to end this particular episode. Hope you're excited about the new challenge modes as I am. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, it makes me super happy if you like and subscribe. And I hope that you join me next time for the next episode of the Long Dark Challenge Mode Nomad going to be putting out this content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so please tune in. That's going to be all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.